This might be the scariest thing that ever happened to America. We all know that America had a lot of scary things happen to it. But this has to be the scariest thing ever. On August 29th, 1968, every single TV in America shut down. But a demonic whispering was coming from every TV in America. Many people believe that it was the devil trying to get across some message. But nobody really understood it. This lasted for about 25 seconds, then all the TVs came back on. To this day, nobody knows what caused it or why it happened, but everybody believes it was the works of the devil. Blood-curdling facts that you wish you never knew. There's an 8-year-old boy named Marjit Sada who became the world's youngest serial killer after murdering his 6-year-old cousin, his baby sister, and a neighbor's newborn daughter. The CIA has a legitimate heart attack gun, and it was exposed to the public in the late 1970s. Project Sunshine was research conducted by the US government in which after the atomic bombings on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a network of agents was recruited to locate recently deceased children and steal their body parts for testing on radiation. Both the US and Russia used dolphins and whales to spy on various countries. The FBI sent an anonymous letter to Martin Luther King Jr. telling him to kill himself. It reads, King, there is only one thing left for you to do. You know what it is. Facebook was forced to shut down two artificial intelligence robots named Alice and Bob because they started communicating with one another in their own language. If you ever win the lottery, you're 120 times more likely to be killed by an immediate family member. Scary facts you wish you never knew. In the 18th century, you could pay admission for the London Zoo by bringing a cat or dog and then feeding it to the lions. Ever wondered why bus seats have that strange pattern? It's designed so you can't tell how dirty the seat really is. Ever wondered why your dog likes the sound of chew toys? It's because they remind your dog of a small animal squealing as it's being eaten. When you ride the subway, 15% of the air you breathe is human skin. That's because skin cells drop off people and have nowhere to go. All of the laugh tracks you hear on TV were recorded in the early 1950s. This means you're hearing the laughs of people who are no longer alive. According to the FDA, the average American eats a pound of insects every year. These are normally mixed in with other foods during the processing. If you see Hello Kitty, you need to run fast. Hello Kitty was created in Shanghai in the 1970s by a lady whose daughter had cancer. Doctors told the mother there was nothing they could do and that the daughter would pass away. The mother went to hundreds of churches to try and save her daughter but nothing worked. She became so desperate she turned to devil worshipping and satanic rituals. She made a pact with the devil himself and if he healed her daughter he wanted one thing in return. The devil wanted her to create a cartoon character that would appeal to children around the world so they would be tricked into worshipping the devil. When her daughter recovered from cancer, she kept her promise and created Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty was designed with no mouth because her daughter had mouth cancer. And the ears on Hello Kitty represent the devil's horns. And the word kitty translates to demon in Mandarin, so when you say Hello Kitty, you're actually saying Hello Demon. And they say that anyone that buys Hello Kitty merchandise is inviting the devil into their hearts. Scary fun facts until the Orbeez overflow. There are microscopic mites that live in your eyelashes. Being buried alive happens so often on accident that they've now invented safety coffins. In the 1800s, dentures were made with real teeth from the deceased. Radio station UVB76 has been broadcasting since 1982. All it does is make creepy noises and nobody knows where it's broadcasting from. Chainsaws were originally invented for childbirth. The final part of Mount Everest that you have to climb is known as Rainbow Valley. They call it that because all you see is all the different colored jackets from the frozen hikers. And it looks like I'm out of time. Follow for more fun facts. If your baby starts acting like this, it may be warning you something's watching you.
A woman uploaded a disturbing video caught by her ring camera of a strange event with her baby. While alone in her house, she begins to hear footsteps coming from the living room. And while her baby's looking at someone or something in the other room, this happens. Sounds like a child's voice can be heard coming from the living room. Shocked on what she's hearing, she tries to ignore it. But it wasn't until her backdoor motion detector went off that she would realize something wasn't right. Oh. After this, she looked all over her house but couldn't find anyone. Could it be her baby was able to see someone or something she couldn't? Or is it just something else? These are facts that will make your skin crawl, part one. Up first, did you know that women can actually give birth after death? It's extremely rare, but it's called coffin birth. Up next, everybody has definitely heard of the five second rule and probably applied it in your life at least once. But did you know in those five seconds, minor insects can still crawl on your food, after you drop it on the floor, pick it up, and then eat it. Up next, if a black cat looks at you, and then suddenly runs away, it means that something unusual is about to happen to you. So if this happened to you recently, then I recommend just staying in your room and not leaving. Finally, did you know that a cockroach can live 9 days without its head before it starves to death? This is absolutely crazy, and as weird as this sounds, I have to see it to believe it. Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 27. When 14 year old George Stinney was executed via electric chair, he was too short for the chair, so he used his Bible as a booster seat. He was later found out to be innocent. In the 1600s, Athanasius Kircher invented a musical instrument made out of cats. He would place them in a row according to the tone of their voice, stretching their tails under a keyboard made out of sharp nails. Texas had absolutely no regulations on natural gas until 1937, when a school blew up killing 295 students and teachers. No one was held responsible and the event was so bad that even Hitler sent a letter of condolence. Everyone goes on about Jack the Ripper, but do you know Mary Ann Cotton? She was wild. Mary and her husband William had five kids, but they would sadly all die of the stomach flu. So they had more kids, but sadly within a year, two of the three would die of the stomach flu. So her husband takes out a life insurance policy on the family, which at this point just makes sense, but he too would succumb to symptoms relating to the stomach flu. In the 1800s, people were often malnourished, they were exposed to like everything, and so dying of the stomach flu or gastric fever was like the go-to diagnosis. However, the symptoms of the stomach flu are suspiciously similar to the symptoms of arsenic poisoning. Mary played the part of morning mother perfectly while she poisoned their tea and collected their life insurance checks. Mary would kill 11 of her 13 children, three of her four husbands, her mother, a stranger's baby, three of her four stepchildren, her sister-in-law, her secret lover. They all died of gastric fever. The three most dangerous countries in the world. Number three, South Africa. This country is known for its breathtaking natural beauty, but don't be fooled by the looks. Behind the idyllic landscapes, South Africa faces persistent challenges in terms of crime, including homicides, armed robbery, and assaults. The country has reported a homicide rate of 34 per 100,000 residents, according to South African police statistics. Number two, Venezuela. Venezuela is grappling with serious crime issues, including high rates of homicide, theft, and kidnappings. According to the Venezuelan Violence Observatory, the country has recorded a homicide rate of 56.3 per 100,000 inhabitants. Traveling in certain areas can pose a real risk for both visitors and residents. Before revealing the number one, remember to subscribe and like the video. Number one, Honduras. Honduras is often regarded as one of the world's most dangerous countries due to gang-related violence, organized crime, and drug trafficking. The homicide rate is approximately 56.5 per 100,000 residents, according to the Violence Observatory in Honduras. So, would you dare to visit any of these countries? Which one? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.
This penguin is almost the height of an adult man. And these penguins you could punt like a football. So you're probably thinking to yourself, why? Why the size difference? Not why you'd punt them like a football. I mean, that one's pretty obvious. Look at them. Well, buckle up because it's time to learn you some science. There is a trend seen through species across the world that colder environments will evolutionarily select for larger body sizes. And it's called Bergman's Rule. Write that one down. It will be on the test. Let's look at a bear. This is a polar bear. It lives in the Arctic. And this is an Andean bear. It looks like a toy factory misprint and lives in the Andes. Have a look at that size comparison. This here is the Andean bear or spectacled bear. This gigantic terrifying thing is a polar bear. And if you look at the names and regions of all these bears, it's actually a phenomenal graph of Bergman's rule. As the astute of you have already guessed, that is exactly why we had so much megafauna during the Ice Age. I hear some of you say, Milo, but elephants exist and they're in Africa and it's warm there. Elephants are just the last remaining member of a myriad of tusked pachyderms that arose during the Ice Age. Despite being big, they're smaller than a mammoth. This is what happens when one of the deadliest animals in the world gets a taste for humans. So back in 1898, the British started building a railroad bridge over the Savo River in Kenya, and they employed several mostly Indian workers over an 8-mile area. But what they didn't realize was they had accidentally wandered right into the territory of one of the top predators on the planet. Because over the next 9 months, Two mainless male lions would stalk the workers, and when they would return to the campsite after a long day, the lions would sneak in and literally drag the workers out and maul them into a statistic, and eat them. And at first, only one lion at a time would enter the campsite. But eventually, the two male lions started catching bodies together as a team. The crew tried to break this kill streak by putting up a thorn fence. Told them a motivated Simba can jump 11 feet in the air, so the lions easily cleared it. In only 3 months, 29 workers have been put in an ashtray by the hungry lions, to the point where the other workers started to panic and leave the construction site. So the head officials responded by bringing in hunters to evict the lions from the area, and y you know where it goes from here. Cowie's looking down at him, he knows how this movie ends. Late one night, the lions allegedly broke into the hunter's cabin where they mauled one hunter, dragged him outside, and that was the night his name got taken off the census. Eventually the two lions were shot and put out of commission, and it took 9 rifle shots to drop the second one. Eventually, the railroad workers finished the bridge, but it cost over 130 men and two lions to do it. And the number of men lost was an estimate, because apparently lions don't leave a lot of their victims behind. And with all the bodies the lions caught, the workers might have built the track, but the lions ran the train. My sister did this to my tongue when we were younger. Hello, my friend. That looks more like a fissured tongue rather than scarring caused by injury. A fissured tongue is a condition that causes the tongue to crack like this. Interestingly, the cause of the fissured tongue is still uh, unknown. I think the assumption now is that it's caused by vitamin deficiencies or genetics. Now, I'm not a medicine guy. The only reason I'm even responding to this is because my father actually has a fissured tongue. <laughs> In the 18th century, you could bring your dog or cat to the zoo and pay your admission by feeding them to the lions. These are scary facts you wish you never knew. Part 1. There's an antidepressant that eliminates somebody's ability to feel love and compassion. Even if your phone is using incognito mode, Wi-Fi routers still keep logs of what websites you visit. And the owner of the router could check this whenever they want. In 1963, the Bronx Zoo had an exhibit. It was called the most dangerous animal in the world. It was a mirror. You got 12 hours to eat every hot dog in there for $1,000 each. You can pick three friends to help you. Who are you choosing? Let me know down below. A man had went to the doctors complaining about discomfort and a stroke. When they checked, they found an octopus living in it. It was surviving off all the food he was eating and absorbing it. It turns out the man had went to a sushi restaurant and had eaten a live octopus. It's a delicacy in South Korea. It decided to move in instead. When Tatanisha Hedman found out that her husband was being inappropriate with her daughter, she kept quiet, waited for him to fall asleep, doused him with gasoline and lit him on fire. She did admit it to police that she lit him on fire because shooting him would have been too nice. Should I do a part two? Whatever you do, never go searching for this video. These five friends were forced to kill each other by the Mexican cartel. These five young aged from 19 to 22 were looking for some sort of employment and they were promised a high paying job at a call center. But when the alleged contact was taking them to meet the people for the job, it actually turned out to be a whole scheme to recruit them to the Mexican cartel. And when all five of these boys said they didn't want to join, the cartel then said okay and tied them up, taped their mouth and took a picture and then recorded one of the friends killing all the other four friends. 
And after that, they put the fifth one who just killed all of his friends into a car and set it on fire. I am telling you right now, do not go searching for this video because you will find it. And trust me, you do not want to see something like this. This case is absolutely horrific and the fact that this happens way more often than we think is just extremely scary and disturbing. It's just sad that these young men were just trying to get a job and make some money for themselves. But instead, it turned into a living nightmare. Rest in peace these five young men. Can you hold the fucking light straight? This isn't a normal horse. I've looked up a weird situation like this. It's actually a skinwalker trying to form itself like an animal. Hello? only a matter of time. That is a species of longhorn beetle. There's like 35,000 types of whatever the hell this is, but this comment says it's a chirping longhorn, so I'm gonna just go with that. Longhorn beetles are famous for two things. Number one, they do not like to be touched, which is why they usually sound like Satan's plumbing. And number two, they're incredibly dangerous, but not to us, because these beetles are one of the biggest obstetry can have. Since their larvae feed on plant tissue, they often destroy trees from the inside. Adult longhorns will actually girdle the tree branches to turn it into a nursery for their children. Which is why the Asian longhorn beetle is one of the worst invasive species in America, since their kids end up killing more wood than erectile dysfunction. In the United States, this longhorn hell spawn is a threat to a third of the urban tree species, which ends up costing us, get this, over $600 billion in damage. You might be wondering how something so destructive even ended up here in the first place. That's easy, us. We basically Ubered them here. They were accidentally introduced to the US and Canada in 1996 through woodpacking material shipped from Asia. And the bastards have been walling out ever since. Oh, and they can fly. Cause why the f not? 